Mountain News this morning. Officials say they may now know what caused thousands of phone outages this weekend. We take a closer look at the case. Plus, work to salvage archives damaged in the July 2022 flood continues. How organizers say you can help with the process. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning, I'm Madison Carmouche. We're coming up on 5 o'clock this Monday morning, and hopefully we got those weekend blues out of the way as far as the rain, but I'm going to send it over to meteorologist Tim Drawbridge for a look at your forecast. There's always weekend blues on a Monday, right, Madison? But oh, and the weather department going to put a smile on your face once we get past today into tonight. 64 outside our door, and mostly cloudy skies. Uh, generally, visibility is looking a OK this morning. A few places with a little fog to contend with early on a Monday morning. Temperature wise, it's 67 up in Breathitt County at Jackson, 66 at Pikeville, 67 at London Corbin Airport, up your way to Ashland, it is 69. All right, satellite weather composite. We do have some breaks in the clouds and a rot uh, disturbance rotating through the flow. Already still kicking off, or that is a few lingering showers out to the east and to the southeast. It will help to reinvigorate the pattern mid to late morning into the early and mid afternoon regarding that shower threat. Otherwise, this afternoon, we end up turning partly sunny with a high of 77. And the key thing, the humidity continues to slowly drop. How far does it go? We'll let you know. Your first alert, seven-day forecast coming up in a few moments. Madison. All right, Tim, thank you. New overnight, Pulaski County Police have charged Kevin Jarsgerzewski with murder. Deputies say they were called to 1760 Highway 90 in Bronston after being told someone had been shot. Upon arrival, police say they found Myron Flanagan dead near his apartment. The suspect, who also lived in the apartment complex, was arrested and charged with murder and possession of a handgun by a, a convicted felon. Also in Pulaski County, firefighters say one person was injured after a go-kart crash. Officials with the Somerset Fire Department shared these photos on social media. Somerset fire crews say the driver of a homemade go-kart was hit by a car near Pulaski High School. At least one person was flown from the scene. Somerset slash Pulaski EMS and Somerset poli Police assisted at the scene. Officials say copper thefts are to blame for phone outages that impacted thousands of customers this weekend. Officials with Windstream by Kinetic say approximately 2,000 customers were impacted, including businesses and residents. Kinetic officials say the theft happened between Hazard and Cumberland. The thieves reportedly cut and stole a copper cable and cut a fiber optic cable. If you are impacted by an outage, you are asked to report it with the GoKinetic app. Were you impacted by the severe storms at the end of May? A mobile disaster recovery is opening today in Clay County to help. The center will be located at the Clay County Community Center and will be open Monday through Saturday from 10 in the morning to 7 in the evening. Officials say people will be a we will be there to help folks apply for aid if they experience damage during the storms. FEMA assistance can include money for home repairs and other disasters related needs. Officials at Heinemann Settlement School are continuing to help restore thousands of items damaged in the July 2022 flood. This weekend, a group of volunteers worked to clean several pictures, vinyls, and documents at the school. Flood recovery archivist Sarah Insulaco says it can be a tedious process cleaning those items. Once they are thawed, they're still going to be like very wet, but once they're wet, we will separate them out one by one in order in which they were in the folder, as we've done on this table. Um, if you need to have, um, if it's like completely filthy and dirty, it needs to be saturated or it needs to be cleaned, excuse me, we have something like this, which is a document cleaner that we'll use to, to clean the documents. Insulaco says they still have nearly three industrial freezers filled with flood damaged items. 
Thanks for getting your day started with us here on Mountain News this morning. The Democratic National Convention kicks off today in Chicago. What you can expect to happen and who you can expect to hear from. Coming up on Mountain News this morning. Hey, you remember this time last week we were enjoying some fantastic weather? Guess what's going to happen once we get past today? All the details with your first alert 7-day forecast coming up right after this.